In this video, I will cover angles in a circle and terminology for angles. Uh, I will also discuss in detail uh, what uh, degrees, minutes, and seconds are for calculations upcoming. Calculations are in another title. Let's get started with terminology. Just what is an angle? An angle is formed when two lines or line segments intersect. There's your intersecting lines and uh, an angle is formed. The angle is marked with a curved piece of a line there. Maybe zoom in a little bit so you can see the curvature on that line because it's hard to see. This one here is an arm of an angle. This is another arm of an angle and, and this angle here is parts of a part of a circle here this is uh, uh, that's why it's marked with a round line there it is a circle sector of the sector it is a sector of a circle if this was a full circle there uh, it I'm referring back to the previous circle terminology so between two arms there there is an angle and uh, it is this angle is the included angle included angle now angles in writing are abbreviated like so or like so with a little circular line across it and uh, if this one here is point B and this one here is point A and this one here is point C on a line segment then the angle is written down as angle or angle either way A B C and the letter in the middle is showing where the apex of the angle is so that's how angles are written down there. If we have a triangle here, and this is triangle ABC, when I'm talking about this angle here, that's described as angle BAC because B and C are the arms are, are the points where the arms of the angle is formed this one here and this one here and the included angle is there at point A if I wanted to specify this angle here this angle would be uh, location would be defined as angle A B C again angle ABC there because from A and from C is where the arms of an angle form up to the uh, apex of the angle now this one here is let me just find me a square corner here nice and square corner is a correct corner or a right angle that's a right angle because a circle let me just do a circle with this coffee cup and uh, like I said before on the circle terminology uh, protractors are nice uh, but uh, and compasses are nice but uh, you don't see they, they don't mount a pen in there so just pretend this is a nice circle and ignore the imperfection a circle as a whole randomly and arbitrarily has been divided into 360 parts the part each part is called a degree not bachelors just degree and is uh, written down 
like there, seven degrees. With a little uh, circle in the uh, upper right hand corner over the uh, amount. So this, back to this right angle. This has a 90 degree turn. Anything, anything less than 90 degrees, like this one here, is called an acute angle. Not because it's cute, but because it's acute, meaning sharp. This one is also an acute angle here. This included angle here is an acute angle. But there is another included angle here. So this is also an angle. This is greater than 90, so this one is called obtuse. Obtuse angle, because it's greater than 90. And of course there is another obtuse angle there. Also, an angle greater than 90 degrees. Now, degrees are not the end <clears throat> of the terminology here, because these parts of a circle have further smaller parts, more parts. Each degree has been divided into 60 parts and each part is called a minute. If I wanted to try to draw a one degree angle, it is extremely small. Now that would be some approximation there. You can see how the I tried to draw two pieces of uh, radii there to show that there is a super small uh, and skinny uh, circle sector uh, between those two arms of an angle there or those two radii but uh, that's just an approximation approximately as your one degree turn that's approximately so if one degree turn is small imagine dividing it into 60 parts to get a minute. Now, just to give you a visual idea, one minute of turn is so small, it's just, just very nearly impossible to draw. Okay. Uh, that was one degree, that's one minute. No, not entirely, but let me try another one. How about that? Those are almost two parallel lines, but they are somewhat converging. It's really hard to see. And uh, that's, that would be a visual representation for one minute of turn. One degree, again, is one part of a circle that has been divided into 360. So one degree is one 360th of a circle. So one minute is uh, one minute is one three hundred and sixtieth is divided again by sixty which equals uh, let me just do it on this calculator here is one over twenty one thousand six hundred so one minute of a turn in an angle is one twenty one thousand six hundredth of a degree. It is extremely small. It is microscopic. If that was small, just wait until we get to seconds of a circle. Each minute, sorry, each minute has been divided into yet again 60 parts and there is 60 seconds in a circle. Uh, one minute is written like so, and one second is written like so. Those are the same whiskers that is used in feet and inches, but these are not feet and inches now. It's just coming from context. It is minutes and seconds now. Now, seconds are seconds could be also written down. There is smaller units than a second, but it is just written as a decimal, like 1.3 seconds or 1.72 seconds. So this tells us that the second again was divided into 10 parts because the three, digit three, has a one-tenth decimal place and here in the 1.72, two has a decimal place of one hundredth of a second. If a minute was microscopic, 
uh, the one second of a turn in a circle is even smaller and not to mention one hundredth of a second but to uh, give you an idea here a parallel situation and how these relate to time because they don't but somewhat they do but just for a comparison's sake but a whole thing is a day in terms of time and the day has been randomly and arbitrarily divided into 24 hours and one hour has been randomly and arbitrarily divided into 60 minutes and each 60 minute uh, interval has been divided into 60 seconds so you know that from uh, from time now to get a visual uh, comparison how the minutes and seconds in time compared to minutes and seconds in degrees uh, they don't quite but the somewhat they do because the hours then uh, are only 1 24th one hour is only 1 24th of a day one hour is 1 24th of a day but one degree is 1 360th of a day or sorry of a turn uh, so it is extremely small it's this one is way smaller than this this one is 15 times smaller than this okay but they somewhat these minutes and these seconds somewhat can be related to these minutes and these seconds so uh, look at this watch here this is not a watch commercial but uh, do look at this one now you know that the second hand sorry the second hand is geared to the minute hand and is geared and linked to the hour hand and inside the watch there is the uh, gears oopsie, that you can somewhat see there Thereabouts is close enough. Okay, so there's there's some gears that you can see and are exposed and To get you a comparison of the magnitude of one second of turn in a circle Since the second hand is connected to the ultimately to the hour hand The second hand is turning the hour hand and the amount of turn the hour hand takes each second is with each second passing is microscopic with each second passing you know that the hour hand is also rotating but it is a microscopic amount so that's uh, that's how you can compare and visualize minutes and uh, seconds of an angle of a, of a turn in a circle and again one minute of turn on a watch also turns the hour hand it is a little more than microscopic amount but it is extremely hard to see likewise these seconds and these minutes are also extremely hard to see but they are there and you need them for your calculations now we're not going to calculate anything yet but i want to show you an example what happens uh, just to visualize these uh, angles a little bit what happens when you uh, ignore minutes and seconds let me just do here a circle for example let's do a circular stair calculation here just not a whole calculation just a little bit in a circular stair maybe you can uh, start there walking up a stair this is a circular stair viewed from above and when you look at it here is your first thread and there's handrail on the outside and probably handrail on the inside or or maybe a wooden post in the middle or uh, or a metal post in the middle or some such thing uh, this could be an emergency exit stair from a, a sky train line or some such thing okay there's thread number one there's thread number two you're going up the stairs there's thread number three this is just freehand, but uh, work with me on this one. Thread number four, thread number five, you're going up the stairs. 
is thread number six. Oops, six. Thread number seven. Thread number eight. Number nine. Number ten, and number eleven. I know number eleven is kind of skinny, but just work with me on this one. So we have eleven threads here. For each thread, we have here an angle of turn, an angle here that is a certain part of a circle and this one is because the circle is 360 degrees each turn here with 11 threads is 1 11th of uh, 360 degrees so on a calculator and I'll just show you the buttons just uh, just come along with the, for the ride I'm gonna be using a button that says D DMS this one it stands for degrees, minutes, and seconds. And uh, this is how this uh, situation works. 360 degrees divided by, and the calculator automatically goes 360 degrees and zero minutes and zero seconds divided by 11 equals 32 degrees, 43 minutes, and 38.18 seconds. I'm gonna write that one down somewhere somewhere here 32 degrees 43 minutes and 38.18 seconds now what happens if you ignore the minutes and the seconds because uh, because you might say oh on my protractor I don't see minutes and I don't see seconds fair but you have to calculate with these amounts. Now what happens if you ignore those and you just make uh, 11 threads 32 degrees each. You are making 32 times 11. The threads when you put them down on the ground and you try to match them up they are only going to cover 352 degrees of turn as opposed to 360. So the last stair here is going to have a little gap. This is a gap here. On the last uh, stair thread, there's going to be a gap between the edge of the thread and the landing. And uh, what are you going to do with that gap? Uh, put a piece of 2x4 in there? Or if it's a metal stair, put a piece of galvanized 2x4? It's not happening. You cannot just ignore the minutes and the seconds in these calculations because your stairs will be out and, you, and your numbers will be out so in the next video I will uh, show you how to uh, work with degrees, minutes and seconds